in the last 14 billion years, the universe has moved towards more complexity. And there seems to be an inherent direction in that. You know, you either stay simple or you move to more complex. What is the sweep or the scope of evolution? Has it moved towards more complex organisms? Has it just meandered randomly through its space and time? And if you look at it as a whole, you see this sort of these simpler forms that are existing cosmically as you go from electrons, to protons, to hydrogen, to helium, to more complex things like carbon. And then in evolution, from simple cells, to complex cells, to multicellular organisms, to conscious organisms, to rational organisms. Once you have cells that start to specialize and interact with each other, those interactions can transcend or go beyond just the sum of what each individual cell does. Emergence is the coming into being of entities that can't fully be explained by understanding just their parts in isolation. The two that really stand out the most are the origin of life and the origin of consciousness. If you think about, say, the origin of life, the emergence of properties of life, what is the trigger? What was the interactions that allowed this thing to be, be alive, or at least to have the properties of a, of a living organism. We certainly know that uh, biological molecules like amino acids, lipids can form spontaneously. They're found throughout the, the universe, throughout the solar system, they're on meteors. And so, so these biological molecules certainly exist, but there's a, a total difference between the biological molecules and uh, an individual cell. And we have ideas of how that might have emerged but it's clear that something unique, something new came into being. Like on Earth, you get cellular life, single cell life. It was relatively rapid. Also, it's relatively unpredictable. The first cells must have been extremely primitive and not very good at really what they were doing, but they were able to survive. And over time, they found a way to change, to adapt to the conditions, and then a way to cooperate with other forms of life to make eukaryotic cells, where you have the symbiosis of two different cells, or cooperation of multicellular organisms, or cooperation within ecosystems. The properties that they have when you put them together go beyond what they have individually. The other, you know, sort of really surprising emergent feature is consciousness. You have this structure in trillions of cells connected to each other. We can understand how neurons work, and this part of the brain does this, or this part of the brain is involved in smell, this part of the brain is involved in emotional processing. But the million dollar question was why, when these neurons interact and fire, do I have this conscious sensation of the world around me, this rich sensory experience? And it's quite possible that there's other organisms that have conscious experience that are rational out there. And then if they are, <laughs> that's just for the proof that there's some sort of emergent complexity that's written into the universe. A lot of times people say, well, oh, humans are just imparting some pattern onto nature. They want to see complexity, so they look for it and manufacture it. If you look in the solar system and from the origins of the universe, through the formation of stars, there has been an increase in complexity, not only in the universe in general, but also in the, the organisms that you find on planet Earth. One of the big questions that motivates me to look at these things is how do you reconcile the beauty of science with the idea that there is a purpose. Scientists might say, you know, the universe is big and dark and shows that there's no purpose. We're just a meaningless speck here 14 billion years in. But the interesting thing is the science is consistent with the idea that there is a purpose, that the universe could be meant to be the place in which things like you or I come into existence like you and I are complex enough to contemplate what's happened over these past 14 billion years and have conscious experience and have the ability to contemplate the meaning of it all. We wanna know what's the story of the universe? Where did it come from? Where is it going? For anybody that has any curiosity left in them, <laughs> those are questions that they are gonna be drawn towards.